The main design challenge in my mind is to envision and design and deliver a future that is more desirable, more enjoyable, more livable than the, than the present we, we have now. Because if you, if you can show uh, the world that the sustainable city has ports so clean that you can swim in and it has power plants so clean that you can uh, climb their facades and, and hike and ski their roofs, then why would you ever choose the non-sustainable city? Like in that sense, the hedonistically sustainable future means that it's not only better for the environment, it's also better for the people inhabiting it. And I think that's, that's where the, the kind of the, the, the energy sector and the design sector can come together to sort of envision this, this, this future that, that we need, yeah. but that we will also enjoy so much more than, than what we have today. Yeah, and, and I think building on that, I think the, the energy sector, that's, that's more than 70% of total global emissions. So production and use of energy is more, almost three quarters of all emissions in the world. And therefore, transforming the energy sector is so vital. I think the example of, uh, of the power plant that you built is, is such a wonderful and tangible example of what can happen if you do it in a hedonistic way. But I also think that, that there are so many other benefits. For example, replacing a coal-fired power plant with an offshore wind farm. Not only do you get cheaper power, that's one thing, you get new jobs, but you also have a lot less people dying from air pollution. So, so there are so many derived benefits of this uh, and the trade-offs are only there in our minds or for a temporary period of time.